what they did was to engineer the war of 1973. And they were on both sides of the war. They were on the Israeli side and they were on the side with Anwar Sadat. And the Soviet Union was a Zionist client state. But the Arabs didn't know that. So they caused this war to go to a draw. <laughs> and then Kissinger, they knew that if the war took place, they knew that King Faisal, Rahimahullah, was going to impose an oil boycott on the United States. They knew it because Faisal had said, I will do it. And they knew that if an oil boycott of the United States were to take place, the price of oil would rise. In fact, it rose by 400% from $3 a barrel to 12. And suddenly the Arab oil producing countries were getting money, money flowing, flowing in. And they were happy with that. From $3 to 12. Kissinger waited until it reached 12. And then Kissinger flew to, flew to Saudi Arabia and succeeded in making the greatest deal that has ever been made in history. And because of that deal, an ocean of oil began to function as a mountain of gold. What did he do? He got Faisal to agree that Saudi Arabia would sell its oil for only US dollars. You cannot buy oil from Saudi Arabia with any money even with gold in our, you cannot. Saudi Arabia will not sell, except for the US dollars. And then Saudi Arabia got the other oil producing, Arab oil producing countries to fall in line. And then came OPEC. And OPEC was the, the the organization which kept the ocean of oil functioning as a mountain of gold, OPEC. So long as you could not buy oil other with US dollar, the US dollar no longer needed gold. Now, oil had now taken the place of gold. And the US dollar was now flying even higher than it could on the Bretton Woods. Because in Bretton Woods, you had to keep some gold. You had to keep some gold. But the new monetary system, which is no longer the Bretton Woods monetary system, the new one is called the the petrodollar monetary system. With the petrodollar monetary system, there is no limit to the amount of US dollars you can issue. You don't even have to print the paper anymore. No. They created something called electronic money <laughs> so you do away with paper and with ink and with the security company with their vans and guards and all these things and electronic or digital money replaces it and uh, you can simply type in one trillion dollars that's all And so, it really became a mountain of gold. 
that is what has kept the United States as the leading ruling state in the world with such vast resources that the United States has more than maybe 1,000 military bases all around the world. And every single misguided so-called jihadists who go and join ISIS could be getting 1,000 US dollars a day because it's free. <laughs> and so there you are. A mountain of gold has come out from underneath the river. But the prophet said that there's going to be a fight over it. And we know that that fight will come when the mountain of gold is under threat. Jerusalem is already rising. Yathrib is already down. When will the Malhama take place? Answer, the Malhama will take place when the mountain of gold, meaning the petrodollar monetary system, is under threat. Is it under threat now? Yes, it is. Who is threatening it? Russia. China. South Africa. India. And Brazil. These five are called BRICS. And these five countries, supported by others, oh yes, these five countries now want to establish an alternative to the petrodollar monetary system. And they are making headway. Yes, 